This is actually my third time recording this episode, so let's see if I can get it right this time. Anyway, back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, PlayStation 3. Today we're going to go back to Hollow Bastion. At least now I know exactly how I'm going to approach this. By the way, guys, some people may be complaining about the Hasune Miku watermark down there that you see on the bottom right. Um, I have a really good reason for putting this watermark on my screen. And not just because I love Hasune Miku. I could have used anybody, but I chose to use Miku. But the watermark has to be there. Wait a sec. I thought everything was supposed to be under control here. How <laughs> Must be Organization 13 again. We better go see Leon. I'm also doing my little small part of advertising Hasuna Mika because I really think that America needs to know exactly who this chick is. Miku is awesome. Anyway, I'll let you guys decide if it's too big or if I need to transparent some more. But in any case, the watermark isn't going anywhere. And I should have, I should have went to limit form or master form before triggering this cutscene here. Damn it. This little ambush here, if you take too much damage, the fight will end automatically, but that's not how I roll. Now, this is interesting. We have monsters inside Chan's world on the outside world. Let me try to kill them all without taking too much damage so I don't, you know, end the fight automatically. Fuck that. Don't forget these guys with the thunder, of course. Uh, fuck! I'm still using... Uh, whoa! Forgot about that. Ow. Yeah, if, if you take too much damage, the fight ends automatically. Fuck that. That's not how I roll. Die! Yuffie, yes. Come on in. Come on in. But are you talking about the house or something else? Wait just a second. What happened to this place? Didn't their hearts look like the ones from John's World? Come on, just get inside. Hey, Yuffie, baby, no rest of these things, you know. I'm sorry, guys, but I really like Yuffie in this game. I mean, it's not like Yuffie doesn't have any feelings for Sora. Remember some of the things she said to him in the first game as she was laying on the bed acting like she wanted him to take him? Things like, just think of this as an adventure, or I heard that the keyblade can open all sorts of locks. I know, I got a dirty mind. Hurry up, Sid. Just give me a second. Confound it. Hurry! Why, you? What's going on? <laughs> Talk about your good timing. The NPCs making havoc inside the computer. Not again. Well, according to Leon, anyway. He went on over to Ansem's study to find out what all the ruckus was about. Now, I only have one issue with this. Is anybody else completely butthurt over the fact that Arrow spends a lot of time with Squall in this game than she does with, with, with uh, Cloud? That's not right.
Turns out the MCP is using the data in that computer to crank out Heartless. MCP's been messing around with the town's control system, too. MCP sure doesn't know when to quit, does it? That's a computer for you. How's Tron doing? We can't reach him. We figure he must have been forced to the game grid. And it don't sound like a particular fun game either. Ah, We'll go check on Tron. Thanks, kid. We're putting together a NPC eradication program. Did I say that right? I've got a hunch that's almost finished too. Well, I hope your hunch is right for once. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna need Tron's help when that thing is completed. Don't sweat it. We'll make sure we tell Tron. Remember boys, we're counting on ya. Roger. And you feel baby, when I get back, how about you and me have a little fun, yeah. You know, I really like how they made Yuffie a lot more, a lot more feminine in this game than she is in Final Fantasy VII. She actually walks. She actually acts a lot more ladylike now. Anyway, guys, I can actually go inside the storybook and complete this to get the Orchakon Plus, but we'll save that for the next episode. So to make a long story short, the NPC is acting up again, and now we got to go inside Strong World and kill it once and for all. Okay, let's go. Now, guys, I'm well aware of the fact that this is a perfect opportunity to grind these, these uh, Tron World monsters outside here. I know that. Uh, unfortunately, there are two reasons why I'm not going to do this. The first reason is the simple fact that the monster that I really want to grind here, the item he has is a 4% drop. And unfortunately, without that, and unfortunately, guys, without my Lucky Lucky Rings, which I can't get until after I do this, it'll be very difficult. I mean, I can actually get a few of them now, but uh, I'm going to have to get Found Illusions. And at this point, the only way I can get Final Illusions is by mastering all my drive forms and going to the steam room in the Cave of Remembrance. Yeah. Fuck that, we'll do that later. I'll be dying constantly in that room. Fucking devastators. Uh, but the main reason why I'm not doing this, uh, but see guys, the main reason why I'm not going to do that is because of these shits right here. Those fucking town security things. At this point, uh, unfortunately, the it's not working for you, it's working for the NPC. Those things will attack you, and it is extremely, extremely annoying. You're either going to have to stop your combo so you can move out of the way, or the damn machine attacks you and you stop your combo. It's, it, 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 either way, it's just, it's just aggravating as fuck, and I can't stand it. Okay, I'm actually going to have to pay attention to these, these rest commands. I just died a minute ago, but you're not going to see it. Sorry, I edited it out. This thing here. Somehow managed to kill me with a little help from the town's fucked up security system. I told you that damn thing's annoying as hell, man. Okay, now this is the monster that I was talking about. These things here, these are rare things. They dropped something that I'm going to need to get a lot of. Unfortunately, it's a 4% drop. So grinding them right now may sound good because it's a lot easier to encounter them here. But without my lucky lucky rings, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So I'll just wait until I can, you know, do it later on with the rings. Of course, if you're overleveled, 
And you can go to the Cave of Remembrance to to synth, find illusions and stuff like that. Then, yeah, by all means, go ahead and do that. But, yeah. you know, and I'm also trying to keep this LP as organized as possible. So I do my grinding later on. I don't need to do it right now. Yeah. Right now, I'm just focusing on the main game. I probably won't start the grinding process till sometimes after I join my new network. Some of you know that I'm currently partnered with TGN, but I'm getting ready to leave them really soon. I've actually been with, with uh, TGN for about two years now. Back then, apparently they were fucking over their, their partners. I think they have a completely new staff now. I told them that I was leaving and they offered me a pretty good deal, but still, I would have to get a, a lock-in contract and I don't want that, so. Hey, another fucking AP boost again. I'm joining Curse real soon. I hope, I hope everything goes well. As for TGN, they seem to have a much better staff team than they did before. Uh, I hate when I do that, damn. Left and lost it. Hey, when I ah! yeah, those those fucking shits right there. You see what I'm talking about? Those shits right there. That this is why I can't grind here because of those goddamn things. In a way, I think TGN isn't too bad right now, except for the fact that it's a lock-in contract and a lot of people don't like those. But. I just think I'll be happier with, with the curse, so. Alright, now we're going to be coming here a lot later on in the game. And I'm wondering how many people completely got the asses handed to them. Don't say I didn't warn you. Whoa! Haven't done this in a while. Rising Sun, yes. I love that rest command. Alright, we waste too much time. Let's go, 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 go. Now, I could go into the Cave of Remembrance and get a Manifest Illusion right about now. But no point in me doing that. All right, the gold wings here. Pain, how you doing? Hey, Riku, stop singing and listen to, huh? You, Riku, baby, how you doing? I don't care what form you're in. You will always be my absolute favorite video game character. I love you, and you know that, don't you? And then there's Uni here. Liars. What? Leon doesn't have any treasure! And we fought for you guys. Donald! Well, I had to kill him something. I don't see how we're gonna work this out. So what should we do? Why do you think they want to trick us like that? They're all liars. We worked so hard to help them out. It's not fair. They'll just take responsibility for what they did. Okay. Yeah. This will be great. Good call. Okay. It's go time. We're just going to take your treasure. But we don't have anything. You sure? Hmm. Let's take a look. Oh, trust me. If you got it, she'll steal it. Hey, Uni. I took a look, and sure enough, Okay, we've decided. The Gullwings are taking all your items. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Foofy. This stinks. So not cool. Look, sorry we tricked you, but... Forget about it. Leon told us the whole story. He said your journey's been pretty rough. So it wouldn't really be right if we took your things. We'll root for you. Here, this is from us. Bye. Good luck on your journey. You know, just hearing these three girls talk again really makes me want to play 10-2 again. And to ask a commonly asked question, 
Am I ever going to LP 10 to high definition? The answer to that is yes, it will be laid on sometime this year. However, there's a lot about 10 to international that I do not know. I don't know 10 to international nearly as well as I know the first game. I'm going to practice it first before I do an LP of it. Because apparently 10 to international is a whole new ball game from the first game. I got a feeling that I'm really going to like it. I played some of it on on the English patch on the PS2 version. But all this mustard catching and, and these new garment grids and, and new dress fairs, stuff like that. There's a, a lot that I need to learn. So I want to have that whole LP completely planned out before I do it. And also guys, I'm probably going to wait until it comes out on PS4. There's a rumor that, that the game will be ported on PS4. If it's on PS4, it'll have like better graphics. And hopefully it'll have better lip syncing. But if it comes out on PS4, I'll wait till then. And now for our lovely Keyblade here. The Going! Awesome. This Keyblade is really, really good for leveling up Sora. We'll do that later when we get to the world that never was. Now, I think I can get this crown piece here. I should be able to get this now. Let me see. Can I get this? Give me. Yes, I can. Now, I'm going to go into Master Form because I'm going to get some pretty good drive orbs here. If I don't die anyway. Fucking Chrism Jazzes. Alright, let's go. Yeah. yeah, these fuckers here. Fuck these things, man. Ooh. And that damn town security thing isn't making things any easier. There we go. Whoa. What? Die, please. Why am I still using Blizzard? Why? I still haven't taken this thing off on the time I fought Hades. And surprisingly, it's not that very effective against Hades in this game. In the first game, it completely owned him. Forgot my magic isn't quite high yet. I don't know why I, I'm, I'm playing the game as if I'm post-game. I'm not, I'm not post-game yet. Fuck these things, man. They have chrism jazzes. Probably one of the most annoying heartless in this game. Because of that shit right there, that damn fire spell that they do. It's just so annoying. Okay, I got some good orbs there. Not a whole lot, but, you know. Alright, there's actually a crown piece here that I can get that I couldn't get before. Heal up here. I almost died there. What's that damn thing again? It's right here somewhere. Then there's these assholes. And that madness splash right there. It may not seem like a really good ability at first, but later on, we start grinding. That ability is really, 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 really good. Die. Thank you for dying. Whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out. Damn, I hate these things, man. I just don't fucking like them. I like them counterattacking. I mean, they're, they're really good enemies because they drop a leashes later on, but I just don't fucking like those guys. And Donald, will you please stop dying? All right, there's our crown piece. Give me. Up, oh, fuck. Let's try that again. Give me. Thank you, sunset piece. I won't be completing that anytime soon. I guess another reason why I hate them because because uh, they're always floating. So my ground combos are practically useless. I gotta jump up and attack them, but but that puts me right in their territory. That damn counter attack. Die. Next. Did Goofy down actually kill those guys? Damn, town security. Fuck. It. No, they disappear. Okay. You know what? I gotta stop getting hit by these damn chrism jazzes. In fact, uh, I don't know why the fuck I'm not using my fireproof armor. 
it may seem like I'm playing reckless, but I'm actually not good at fighting these these uh, Chrism Jazzes until my stats get really high when I can like kill them in two attacks, stuff like that. I these these guys here with the, the, the damn fire spells. These are some these are some just some assholes here, man. The main issue I got these fuckers is the fact that the fire spell follows you all over the fucking level until it explodes, even after you kill them. That's just not right. All right, let's get a move on. I waste too much time here. Gosh, it's only us. You can't talk to Chun. This room gets taken over. Did you guys check in with Sid? Uh huh. And the Eradicator. It's almost done. Great. Say, Leon, why don't you go work with Sid? I have this place under control. Are you sure? All by itself? Whoa, look at that look on her face. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's all yours. How's trying? Yeah, Arrow seems a little more tougher in this game than she was in Final Fantasy VII. That's kind of odd. Anyway, we get the picture, guys. We got to go inside the computer to help Chun. I know. Let's go. Sleeping Lion. A pretty good keyblade, but no thank you. I don't like combos that much. Man, this game anyway. Ignorant users, obey the NPC! We'll be there soon, Tron. Before going in there, let me get this crown piece here. Going in here now. We're going to get this, too. Okay. Cosmic Chain. Going a little further in the center of this room, there's yet another crown piece. Give me. Thank you. Daylight puzzle piece. And this looks like an interesting place for a boss fight. I don't know how Square misses opportunity. Oh, well. Okay. I took a little nap there. Break time's over. Let's get a move on. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Going into Charm's world. But first, let me talk to Aerith here. Hey, baby, how you doing? Yeah, she's actually very pretty in Kingdom Hearts. Of course, she's nothing compared to how she looks in um, Crisis Core. And Crisis Core Aerith is just, just wow. <laughs> and that blue dress, I love the blue dress she wears in Crisis Core. Really, really sexy. Uh, wrong button, not Japanese version. Let's go up, uh, uh, pit sale, enter, yes, let's go. Oh no, the machines are raging an all-out war. We must stop them before they destroy the entire universe and all the shenanigans. Gorge! Hope Tron's okay. Me too. Let's head for the game grid. Great! The terminal works! Let's go! Now, I'm wondering if my limit form will stay active once I activate this thing here. Let me see. Yeah, from this point on, guys, you're going to see me go into a limit form a lot because the monsters are going to start hitting really, really hard now. Finished? Would be, if it weren't for the old loon's magic. Old loon, you say? I'm trying to work here. No, <laughs> I'll show you who's old. By George, I, 
I, I, I'll turn me to a minnow. There you go, Leon. One homemade program. A loony wizard special. This had better work. I'm off. You'd be on your guard. Like my limit form does indeed stay active. That's good news. Now I don't have to worry about going into Antisaur. Fuck that. All right, defeat all the hotness again. Let's go ahead and start out with a Sonic Blade. This is actually probably my favorite attack in the game. Sonic Blade. I'm gonna use this thing a lot <laughs> later on. Well, maybe not, because the thing is, we are grinding. You're gonna want Donald and Goofy on screen at all times for the lucky lucky rings. If you kill stuff while they're disappearing, it doesn't count for your lucky lucky rings. So you want to grind in limit form because of um, limit form has a extra lucky lucky. You really saved me. Don't mention it. What's going on here? The NPC is ready to rage an all-out war against the users. What's been happening on the outside world? Hmm. Where this machine? Well, there's this machine for making hotness. It's gone totally berserk. The town's control system is having problems too. Yeah, fuck that damn thing. But since putting together a program that would derail the NPC. Once to pick it up at the I.O. Tower, he thinks maybe he can use it to stop it for good. Let's give it a try! Great! So, who's this Sid? He's a good friend of ours. Leon, Merlin, Aerith, Yuffie. They're all in the outside world worried about you, Tron. I must have a lot of user friends. That program ought to be done by now, don't you think? To the tower! Let's get out of Tron is back in the game. And we can switch him out unlike we could last time. Actually, I think we could last time. Um Yeah, I think I'll leave him in. I'm gonna use Goofy because uh, that Goofy Tone there really helps against those fucking purple machine things. However, before I go anywhere, I'm gonna buy some potions because I do not wanna confront the boss of this level without without any means of healing all right guys let's head over to the io tower now later on the game i'm gonna spend a, a good amount of time here going back and forth to fight these guys that that purple thing there he drops elixirs pretty often that's always good for the data battles uh, die, please. Thank you. In this room here, you fight these guys pretty often. These guys drop lightning crystals pretty well. Like so. See, I got two of them already. And this is without the lucky lucky, so once I get my lucky luckies, they'll, chop, they'll probably drop it almost every time. And I do need quite a few of those, unfortunately. The gear drop isn't too bad either. Take this, bitches. Moving on. Now, there are two more of those um, purple things right down here. 
usually every time I every time I come here doing uh, late game grinding, I usually get about four or five releases. If I don't die, like this. Damn, I hate these things, man. Just trying to grind these guys at this point is actually a pain because they do a lot of damage. When I have actually no trouble killing them, then I, then I grind them. Will you die, please, you fuckers! I'm getting my ass handed to me by these things, man, because they're hard to stumble. See, this is why I don't like combos. When I get negative combos, they won't be nearly as as difficult because I'll be doing my fish and blow very very often, and I'll be stumbling them, and and I won't be getting hit like that. In case you're wondering why I'm not using my, my combo pluses, that's why. Because I need to do my, my fish blow so I can stumble them to prevent them from attacking me. This is why I don't use combo plus buildings. Not in critical mode anyway. Is this the way? Yeah, I gotta go in here first. No, I, I don't wanna go there. I wanna go to the owl tower. I ain't going there. Oh, how nice. Leon can kill those guys with one attack. Maybe he should have came along with us. And can somebody please tell me why the fuck is Orin the only Final Fantasy character who actually fights alongside with us officially? I'm not talking about those temporary fights like when everybody thought that, that a Goofy died. I'm talking about like an official partner like the Disney characters and Orin do. Why is that? There. I would love to fight alongside with um, Tifa, Aerith, Yuffie, and, 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 uh, and Cloud. That would have been awesome. And of course, their their limit commands would have been things like Army Slash, Lionheart, Great Gospel, which would probably make you immune to attacks. And then, of course, there's Final Haven, which probably fuck everything around you. You know, it, it, it would have been awesome to have the Final Fantasy characters fight alongside with you instead of just the Disney characters. I don't know how Square missed this. That would have been awesome. Maybe in Kingdom Hearts 3, we'll have the opportunity to do that. Fuck these things! Yeah. This is it. Die! Thank you. Next. Now those purple bastards, these things here, if you think these guys are bad, <laughs> if you think they're bad, you haven't seen anything yet. Wait till you get to the cave of members and you fight the suitless version of these guys. But in all honesty, that's not what makes them a pain in the ass. The thing that makes them hard is that fucking, um, that steam that comes out of the wall and that damn Cavella belt, man. Ooh. Just be thankful that the steam in that room doesn't actually damage you, because if it did, that would probably be the, well, it's still the worst room in the game. But if the steam actually did damage to you, man, I really want to think about it. I just about have these fuckers here, man. They getting on my nerves. Whoa. Thanks, Goof. Will you die, please? Aye. Thank you. Okay, I love the I love the Oath Keeper. It's my favorite keyblade. I try to use it as much as possible. The only time I switch it out is when I know I need a little more kick. And I'm getting my ass handed to me here, so I'm going to make a little switch here. I'm not using the pumpkin. Fuck that. I'm going to use the Hills Crest for the air combo boost. All right, let's go. Warning, user control is terminated indefinitely. 
No good. Leon, let me try. This is your final warning. Stop at once. Bon appetit. Don't talk with your mouth full. What? What are you loading? Nothing's come in yet. Leon! Come on! There! All right! What's it like? This is very strange. That's my truck. Huh? There's a power booster for me. And flight routines for the solar sailor. Meaning we're set? Well, like you users say, we won't know till we give it a try. We'll need a sailor to reach the MCP, so let's get to the simulation hangar. Twan learned a new ability. Let's check them out, shall we? Yeah, he learned two new abilities, not a new ability. As soon as the damn thing starts loading anyway, those two new abilities are... Thunder Poos and MP Rage. Awesome. Not Rage, uh, MP Haste. I don't need this, really. Just put on the MP haze. That might come in handy. Alright, damage control. I forgot what level Sora learns this on the other weapons. As I said before, the way this thing works is when you're in critical hit points, which is what, one... Which is like, what, one-fourth of your max hit points? All damage Sora receives is halved. But here's the thing, if you got two of them, then that works when your HP is halved. And the reason why you see a lot of people using the Kingdom Key, in case you haven't figured this out by now, is the fact that the Kingdom Key has damage control in Final Mix. So Kingdom Key combined with this, which means that when your hit points are halved, you take half damage. I use it sometimes, but I don't use it that much. The, uh, the King Key, I mean. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference against Terra. Because Terra, pretty much everything he does puts you in, in, in depth. So, yeah. T unless you're good at controlling his AI, you pretty much need second chance and once more to beat that fucker. Of course, once you figure him out, it's very possible to beat him without taking a single hit. If you do a level one run, you ain't got a choice. Because he kills you with everything he does in that. Alright, those little surveillance things there. Uh, unfortunately, these muscles are kind of hard to find. Which is very bad because they dropped something I need later on in the game. It was one of the bright items. I forgot which one it was. Okay, I kind of died there in a most unexpected way. I was forced to go to limit form. The Antisaur popped out, so you know how that turned out. Fucking Antisaur. I hate that damn thing. Anyway, before I try this again, we're going to put this on. I forgot about this. All 
All right, let's try this little dance again. You've got to keep a lookout. The MCP isn't going to just let us waltz in. Now, this is surprisingly a difficult fight, not because of the heartless itself, but the fact that you're on the time limit. You're going to be in a hurry. You're not going to be concentrating on what you're actually doing. So oh, fuck these guys. These purple bastards fighting one of them is bad enough, but when you got like two or three of them at the same time, it just gets chaotic. You kill these guys as quick as possible, especially since they're kind of heavy. They're going to make this thing collapse a lot faster than the other hoppers will. Alright, die. And now I can relax for a little while because I got the easy ones now. These little small fries, they ain't one with them. Let my magic points build up again. So when the final wave comes, I can use um, teamwork again. Pretty good gear here. The place is getting heavy, so I gotta kill him quickly. Oh, I got time. I still got time. Going up. Die. Your turn. Alright, here comes the hard part real soon. Here comes the hard part. These guys here. Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys. Do not forget that you are invisible during a limit break. Use that to your advantage. You need to kill these fuckers, man. I told you, it's, it's, it's not the fact that the Heartless are paying the ass here, but you're on the time limit. If you don't kill them before this before time runs out, you, you get all mad game over. Fuck that. But you're going to be in a hurry that you're not going to be concentrated and you're going to get fucked up. All right, we got out of that mess. Thanks, Goof. The MCP is straight ahead. Time to settle things for good. It's time to finally settle things with the NPC. But first, let's pick up some new toys. Start with this. Orichakum Plus. Another fucking AP boost again. Now, I'm sure some of you have noticed that if you pick up two chests really fast, you'll get the second one before it actually opens up. I think what's going on here is some kind of dis error. Since you open up both of them really quickly, the game thinks that the, 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 the second chest is already open and you get the item before you actually get it. I don't know how that works, but I will. Anyway, going over here now. Cosmic Arts. A pretty decent item. This, of course, you guessed it, a map as we navigate the whole fucking area. I hate games that do that. As for those cosmic arts, let's go ahead and put that on. Put that on. Um, Tron here. Uh, that's not going to help. I need to save that for, for Riku, probably. Now, this upcoming boss fight, there are two things that you need to keep in mind. The first thing and the most important thing is the fact that you need trying to win. And the second thing that you need to keep in mind is that all damage to this boss is going to come from rest commands. Don't forget about this explosion. Please put that on. Put it on! 
as I was saying, don't forget the fact that all damage in this fight comes from your rest commands. And because of this, absolutely no reason not to use this. Instead of attacking the NPC like five or six times with this, I have to do it four times, five times if the um, if Zark gets in my way. All right, this fight is actually quite difficult. So in case I die, let me leave and enter it again. That way, I won't have to do my settings again. There's nothing more annoying than changing half your setups to fight one boss and then you die and th then you gotta do it all over again. Fuck that. Who was that? Sark, the MCP's number two. Tenacious little bugs, your time is up. Prepare for de-resolution. Alright, I'd rather ease the boss fight here. Get rid of the small fries first, because they're going to be in your way if you don't. Get rid of them. Die. Was that Madness Blast, was that in the original Kingdom Hearts? I can't remember. It was out saying that this guy's actually very easy. Just attack him here when you need to. Explosion. Sora actually learns this quite early in the original Kingdom Hearts 2. I guess they realized how broken it really was to, to learn it at that point. So now we, we don't learn it until this point in the game, which is very unfortunate, but it's all good. Die! Explosion, I love that ability. You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. Uh, we would have made a great team. Now for the MCP. This thing is the MCP? That's it. Ugly, isn't it? Tron, don't you understand? We don't need users. We've advanced. They're superfluous. Be a part of me, and together the world will be ours to control. MCP, you still don't get it, do you? Sark! Sark! All my functions are now yours! Alright, the NPC, the last time we hit this awesome battle thing, the encounter, unfortunately. Watch out for that disc, that thing hurts like a bitch, as you can see. Alright, the first thing you want to do is disable this uh, giant. There are two ways to do this. The first one, obviously, is to do it the normal way, just attack him. Attack his legs to knock him on the ground. Watch out for that. I still got hit. If I only had reflect. It's supposed to really helps here. Don't forget about reflect. As he causes those damage to him, you'll, di you'll uh, di disable him and you want to do that. Yeah. Is that the best All right. As I was saying, with this weapon here, you do a lot, and I mean a lot more damage to the NPC every time you do this. 
All right, watch out here. You got a counter attack. Yeah, watch out for that. Try not to get hit by that. I can actually do some more damage before Zark gets back up, but I want to wait. As I was saying, there are actually two ways to stumble him. I'll show you the other way later on, because I don't need it right now. Wait for his thunder spell. Here we go. Reflect. Get down. There we go. Yes, make sure you put on explosion before this fight because it really comes in handy for breaking this barrier and attacking NPC. All right, watch out. Try to keep Tron as live as much as possible because you cannot win without Tron, unfortunately. You have to attack with Tron's limit command. Not limit command, but rest command. Now, this is where the fight gets tough. If you're far away from him, the, uh, the uh, giant there, he'll try to throw this, this uh, disc at you sometimes. Anyway, guys, I was saying, the sec this right here, yeah, watch out for that. Now, the second way to disable him is to run away from him. Let me get this crown piece while I'm at it. He'll try to trap you with, with this wall here. Do the rescue command and you'll, and you'll disable him automatically. Whether or not he stays out longer this way, I, I'm not sure, but it really comes in handy. Eliminate all threats. Okay. At this point in the fight, he um he does this very often to try to stop you from attacking him, which is kind of annoying. But sometimes, yeah, fuck, fuck, I had him. As I was saying, sometimes you'll get lucky and be able to land a hit. Okay, he's going to get up now, so I could have attacked him there, but actually I couldn't because Tron's out for the count. Let me take care of him. Yes, this this fight is actually a lot more difficult than, than it seems at first because of because of him constantly moving this damn wall thing around at the stage of the fight, which is why you want to do as much damage to him as possible every time you do this. Okay, now I should be able to kill him next time I trap him. Whoa, watch out. Don't die now. My first time doing this on critical mode, I actually died like 10 times, to be honest. Now, if Tron was alive there, I probably could have uh, won that. There's the Jolly Red Giant again. Let's get him out of here. Okay, this should be it right here. As soon as he stops it again, I should be able to beat him. There we go. This should be it right here. Ah! Got him. Just did get him. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. If you're really good at rapid fire, you can probably do it three times. Of course, if you got auto fire, you can cheat, but don't do that. I see Tron has a silly side, too. I learned it from you. Of course, I do have my silly limits. Okay, then I'll tweak your program when I get back to the user world. You? Maybe we better not try that. Oh, how about it, guys? Sing in Tron, dance in Tron. Sound good? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But before I crash... Sora, Donald, Goofy, and all the users out there... Thank you. You really helped me. You made me so much stronger. 
You taught me what friendship is truly all about, and I'll never forget it. As soon as I met you, I knew we were going to defeat the MCP and free the system. Isn't this what users do when they're sorry to say goodbye? Uh, it's a first for me. Gorse, Tron, it's like a promise that we'll see each other again real soon. Okay, well then. I promise. are settling down in town. The only Heartless left anywhere are the local variety. And it looks like there are fewer than before. Now if we can just get those three back in one piece... You're here! Welcome back! How's the town? A-okay! Not a single trace of the MCP, either. Everything's back to normal. We made it. Hey, why the long face? What happened? Tron just disappeared. And he promised we'd see him again. Run! What's happening? Greetings, friends. System is up and ready for user input. Tron! Tron! Stay in touch. Yeah. And bring out Tron! Hey, stop that. It tickles. Tron is ticklish? How about this? Please, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tron's been hanging around those guys too much. Wait, wait, just a moment. I want to show you something I dug up from the system archives. You can see the town back when it was first built. That's right. I remember now. Just like the old days. Hmm. I'd be fascinated to ascertain as to when the town got such a dreadful name as Hollow Bastion. You know, this town had another name once. Hmm? Oh. 
radiant garden. A new episode was added, and I do believe that episode is Sephiroth. Nowhere in hell I can beat that guy right now. So Hollow Bastion was once called Radiant Garden. And when I play Birth by Sleep, is that going to explain why why Radiant Garden got changed to Hollow Bastion or whatever? Anyway, guys, that's going to do for today. Next time, we are going to go inside Pooh's boring storybook. See you there. Take it easy. Now,